Dude plays 12 minute quarters all day. Oh, that kid. 15. Yeah. It's 15 now? Yeah. That's even worse. Alright, guys, so. Get down, get down, get down. Due to the inconvenience of, um. So. Alright, so. I'm gonna... sorry, guys, so I have to spend some time, can we? <laughs> so I gotta play 14 minute quarters today. Because I want to spend at least five minutes with my family and open my presents. Oh, you gotta catch that, Hardman. <laughs> He's using the bathroom. Good catch, Moody. But my long snapper is playing tight end, bro. He's a 28 overall. Working that over to Try to see TN starts it off with a bang. Am I not allowed to say one thing, dog? So I go on that you don't never commentate just to commentate in your entire life. You have to you've never commentated just to commentate in your entire life. Alright, it's first and goal at the eight yard line. Justin Fields. Now kick him out. Snaps it, hand off to Swift, and that will be a four yard gain. Second and goal for the Chicago Bears. Justin Fields not, drops back. He's looking. He fires to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Juju Smith Schuster. Wait. Okay, search, search. Oh, okay, then. Alright, here we go. Okay. No, I like I'm to say W. Get, get what? Get what? Get what? Wait, you're joking. Wait, you're joking. Okay. Fuck. What the? Incomplete. Right, why are we having an Ohio off? Hey, Austin, tell them to stop having an Ohio off. Stop having an Ohio off, please. We're having an Ohio We're going for it. Uh, oh, you're wearing no black? Juju Smith-Schuster, that's I'm another touchdown. Help me, Ridley! Really. I love Calvin Ridley. Ohio, like Ohio. Okay, bro, we get it. W pass. Alright, here we go. We can do it. We're kicking off, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> what a catch! McCoy! And Trevor Lawrence throws a pick. Are you fucking kidding me? Ishan, what are your thoughts on McCall Herman Kess? You said W? Yes. That's what I thought. These jerseys so are said. so good, bro. Both of them. That's PI for you. Alright, um. It's okay. Gino. I'll go three. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and get Swift to rush and catch him. You're Wait about to get destroyed. I'm sorry. Yeah, alright, bro. <laughs> Bro, wait, where's his superstar? That move is not in his Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. Anything's gonna work against this guy, so I don't care. Alright. Let's go, Shaquille! Alright, yeah, uh. Three. You're gonna be a tough Where cookie to crack. Alright, AG. He gets hit as he throws by, I believe that's Trayvon. And, yeah. and it's picked oh, off Minka oh. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, because none of my players have superstar. Alright, um, what we'll, we'll, we'll we'll None of his players one. have superstar off. I didn't I think know it's just, that. I, I think it's just that you're, you're kind of bad. Oh. Alright, this defense is atrocious. 
I uh I scroll down. I don't like that. Jamel Dean did not help me. Scroll down. Uh, two. Nobody cares, all right? Aj, no one cares about your little ass game, all right? Oh my God, the kick meter is so Uh, fine. Well, yeah, we'll fix it. I literally don't have a kick meter. It's so cool. All right. Um, two, two, two. Now Lawrence. I think we can get Damn this. Damn it, O-line! Oh, I hate Christian Kirk! Oh my god! god. I mean, that was really high on. There it is! Come on. Harris Campbell, 18 yards. Alright, three. Why I, are... I, I, oh my, I, I, Justin Fields is unserious. Justin Fields is unserious. Now I have to play defense. Come on now. And he's stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Scroll, scroll down. Scroll down. Alright. Keep scrolling. W punt by Matt. I don't Matt, like these. Scroll down. We'll, we'll go with C. Alright. Oh, wait, Jack, he was just on my team. Alright, it's not. I didn't pick him up. <laughs> So Jacobs isn't on a route then. <laughs> well, uh, I said it like once you snapped it. All right, one. Maybe why can't I change my abilities when I play? It didn't let me before. It didn't let me before. I'm letting Javante Williams cook. Yeah, I'm not playing defense. All right, we'll try it again. All right, no, 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 no. Um, school. This game is over. I, I hate every single thing about okay, this I gotta stop. W defense. There it is. Josh Jacobs. Oh, so it takes him just three plays here to find the end zone, and you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down, so I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have one bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. And he will have the Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Straight ahead, ETN. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Lawrence. And his throw here is incomplete. Third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Lawrence. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. And give him a gain of 37. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. ETN up the middle. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Hey, 
Looking to throw. Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They go play action with Lawrence. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them, that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Keep his feet in. Second down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Now it's Tannehill running the slant. That's Robert Woods. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. A handoff running left, Henry. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. He's got it complete, Derrick Henry. And he will have a Titans first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And now a throw on first down there. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jags are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Now the Jags are moving quickly in the hurry up. To throw again on second down, Lawrence. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. This is caught. It's Kirk. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Operating from the gun, Lawrence. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Here's a give up the middle. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Second down and goal. Lawrence to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them up the scoreboard here. Touchdown! Daniel Bellinger in the final seconds of the first half. Now the Jaguars have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point up and through, and the lead is now 10-7. Time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was finished off with a touchdown by Daniel Bellinger. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. into a double team and it's intercepted. Down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we bring All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. No return here for Calais, and this will be a touchback. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. And some room to work. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 84 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. They'll try the air now with Tannehill. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. On second down, here's Henry. And he tried to bounce it outside. Behind the line. Seventh play of the drive up coming here on third and six. Here's Tannehill. That one thrown away from the three. The officials kind of each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty. Just an incomplete pass. 
Seibert able to knock this one through. And that will knot us up at 10. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Take it in at the three. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll look to ETN to start things out. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw. Lawrence. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They begin with Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. From the 30 on second down, Tannehill running the slant. That's Hooper. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Draw play. This is Henry. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, 45 yards. And the Titans are going to take the lead. Extra point by Seibert up and good. And that makes it a 17-10 score. The drive there only spanning three plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. And this taken in at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Another tote for ETN. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, it's Lawrence eluding the pressure right. Out route pass complete to Bellinger. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but wasn't enough to get him the completion. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley, 59 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are on time now early in this fourth quarter. 
10-17 the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. No return here for Calais, and this will be a touchback. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They keep it with Henry on first down. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Tannehill. And Woods has it complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down, Tannehill. And brought in downfield by Burks. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Tannehill. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll try the right side with Henry. They find some open field here. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 167 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Tannehill now to throw. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Dexter Lawrence busting through to get him for a loss of six. A toss left, Henry. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Seibert's kick is good. And with that, they take the lead here 20 to 17. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars. Down 20 to 17. Two minutes, 30 seconds to play. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And this is caught on the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. That explosive 38-yard pickup. A shotgun snap and again to ETN. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. And the question now, can they get closer on third down? A field goal from here, you're looking at right about a 52-yarder. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Yeah. 
Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence on a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. It's Roger McC